Hold on to your top hats, we're going weirdly steampunk today. This is the clayed venenum, 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 venen, venenum. Pregananant. Why? Why would you? Why would you give it that name? Why would you put two N's and an M in what? Why would you do it? Ven, venenum. Oh my God. This is the new assassin for Horus Heresy, and he's all about the poisons, and he's also, I think, one of the most, like, steampunky type characters we've ever seen from Games Workshop, just hands down, or at least recently. Anyway, I know that things like the Mechanicum have got some interesting and bizarre things in Horus Heresy. I know that there's some interesting stuff for the Mechanicus in 40k, where they've got this kind of, this kind of almost old-timey, ornate rifle feel. There's a lot of stuff that's kind of directly inspired by, like, Da Vinci drawings and the like. There is a lot of that stuff going around, but for some reason, this just looks like some sort of some sort of, like, cross-universe, if you're looking for something that's a bit steampunky with maybe a hint of a hint of fallout about it, then this is what you'd come up with. I like it, but it's really, like, it's really very unique, especially among the assassins. I feel like the assassins generally, they might look a bit weird, a bit bizarre for the most part, but they look very, they look quite sci-fi. They generally look fairly sci-fi. This, to me doesn't look anywhere near as sci-fi as the other assassins that are currently available. And I do quite like it for that. It does set it apart. For some reason, I keep looking at it and thinking Dishonored. I'm just getting that sort of feel off it, but I don't necessarily think that that's a bad thing. Overall, this is pretty unique. It's pretty cool. So funnily enough, all about poisons, toxins, and venoms, just injecting people with horrible stuff to make them go dead. That's pretty much what these guys are all about, as you might expect from the name of them, which I'm just never gonna bother saying again. You can't make me say it, so I'm not going to. The mask is quality. I really like the kind of gas mask feel on the front, but then they got that central grill. I love, I love an eye lens. I love like, I love like an extended eye lens. It just creates that weird non-symmetry, that kind of nice asymmetrical feel to it. I don't know why, it just it just hits the spot every time. I'm not going to suggest that it's got like sensible armor, I don't think that's necessarily fair. We've got some greaves going on, but we have got a bit of a like leather sort of style bodysuit underneath. The weapons are just as weird as you'd think they'd be. Which to be honest, I quite like about the assassins. I quite like the fact that you have got like a relatively... There's like, there's the normal one, which is the Vindicare that just has a big long barreled rifle. Clearly just a sniper, stands on a hill, murders someone all plain and good and simple, but then you have some really bizarre, weird things to go alongside it, and this kind of fits more into the category of the weird and bizarre. That big needle thing in one hand is horrendous. I'm assuming the other one is some sort of like misty spray thing. This kind of like, you know, it's like a sensor. I was gonna say the thing that you have in church, as if everyone go would go to a church that has sensors. The things where the smoke comes out of it, it's a sensor, it looks a bit like that kind of silver grenade thing off to the side. I'm assuming you chuck that and where the holes are, a bunch of poisonous gas comes out. It's a cool mental image. And again, it feels like quite an old timey design for that sort of device. I'm not entirely sure what to make of the armoured crotch piece. I mean, it, it's important to keep certain parts of the body intact and, you know, well protected against the elements, but there being like five, six bits of armour if we include the helmet. I don't think that shoulder pad's really doing much. We'll say, we'll say seven. We'll say seven bits of armour. We'll be generous. You've got the head, you've got the shoulder, you've got the kind of, uh, the kind of gauntlety, gauntlety forearm bracer things, you've got the greaves, and then you've got, an, you've got a nice bit of protection for the crotch. Gotta make sure that crotch is pristine at the end of a mission. It's a weird choice, but I don't hate it. I will point out that even the thing that he's standing on is a little bit, a little bit steampunky. <laughs> it's just a random cog, what looks like some sort of, I mean, is that an arm? Is it an arm or is it a little, like a little chimney thing? It's kind of hard to tell what that is. We can see the back view there. We've got that nice backpack with the two vials. I really like that a lot. It looks like it's got that same kind of sensor thing on the top of it. Wearing a mask with a kind of filter system on it. Is it an option to just dump all of that out in the middle of a group of people? Because that, that's badass. Just jumping in amongst a bunch of people, gassing them all and then leaving. I kind of like that as an assassin move. We've also got some weapon names down here. So we've got a toxin ejector, which is the one that's got all the green vials sticking into it, which it looks like you can either punch it into people or just toxin gas them from afar. 
awful. And then the hook blade on the other, which I hadn't realised from the front view, has got like an actual... It literally goes all the way back across the elbow and up, which is a nasty-looking weapon. And it is absolutely a needle as well. Look at that. I say a needle. Is it still a needle? That's more just a cylinder, isn't it? That's not really necessarily a needle. I don't know how big it has to get before it stops being called a needle. Either way, being poked with that does not look like it's going to be a good time. I mean, overall, I quite like the look of this. I think that's a decent looking model. It's different. It's interesting. I like the idea behind it, even if the name is terrible. The helmet design I really, really like. It's just... I don't know, it's, it's, it's kind of, it's quite interesting. It's actually quite an interesting looking model for me. I think they've done a good job on this one. The question is, what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things, Patreon videos, subscribe, all that stuff. Click it if you like, don't click if you don't want to. And as always, there's an affiliate link in the description for Element Games, which you can use to support the channel if you'd like. I leave it in your capable hands. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.